Thanks for tuning into the Finance News Network. I'm Jessica Amir with Botanics Pharmaceuticals President Vince Ippolito. Vince, thank you for coming and welcome to the network. Yes, happy to be here. Thank you. And you've just wrapped up your first roadshow with the company. But before we get into um, why you're here today, let's just pause on your background and a little bit about Botanics Pharmaceuticals, who they are. I've been in the pharmaceutical industry for almost 35 years. And the vast majority of that has been in medical dermatology. I started with a, a company called Novartis Pharmaceuticals, where I actually kicked off their dermatology division and launched some very big drugs. Uh, after that, I went to an emerging dermatology company in the United States called Medicis, and we built that to the largest independent medical dermatology company in the, in the US. We launched a huge acne drug there at Medicis called Solidine. And at that time, it generated more revenue than any dermatology product in the US. Later, we sold that company to Valiant Pharmaceuticals for almost $2.4 billion. When I left there, I went to another startup, and again, there we developed and commercialized another asset for atopic dermatitis, a non-steroidal product called Crisoboral. The brand name is Eucrisa today. As we were developing that company, we ended up being bought by Pfizer for $5.2 billion. So it leads me here today at, at Botanics. Botanics is a clinical medical dermatology company focused on the area of cannabidiols. And so our focus today is in in dermatologic skin conditions and anti-infectives. We have four products in our pipeline today, two of them in stage two. Uh, One of them, the lead asset, is for acne, and the follow-on product is for atopic dermatitis. Our development assets are in psoriasis and anti-infectives. You've outperformed uh, all of your peers, um, some would say. In fact, year on year, your share price is up 44% and um, largely that's fueled from your announcements this week. So if you wouldn't mind telling us, uh, Vince, about the clinical and commercial importance of what you've announced. The first two announcements that we put out, the first one was really around a study that we did, a punch biopsy study in psoriatic patients. Uh, Dr. Jim Kruger at Rockefeller University analyzed the work for us. And what he was able to show was is that our unique formulation of Permatrex along with CBD, it operated as an anti-inflammatory and an immune modulating agent in psoriasis. And because Dr. Kruger mapped so many genes, he was also to validate for us in our two clinical programs of atopic dermatitis um, and acne that CBD and our Permatrex formulation was anti-inflammatory in those diseases as well. So that was really huge news validating our clinical platform as a anti-inflammatory agent and immune modulating agent. The second piece of news that we put out was another study um, that was done that looked at um, our anti-infective program that we had. And the anti-infective program showed that um, we were active against all gram-positive bacterias, um, namely that we killed both staph and MRSA. And not only that we quickly killed staph and MRSA, Um, but the bugs did not form um, any resistance against the bacteria. So cannabidiol um, uh, did not form any resistance. And so now we validated through two clinical studies that we're anti-inflammatory, we have anti-infective characteristics, and we're immune modulating in the diseases that we have. So when we shared these data with our investors, obviously there was great excitement because we've actually somewhat de-risked our clinical platform, proving our mechanism of action. So Vince, where do you really see as the the biggest unmet need at the moment? Uh, Let's start with our lead program here um, in acne. So there's really been no new acne medications in the last 20 years. And so the unmet need for me in the marketplace is really to have something that's not only efficacious, that can treat the inflammatory characteristics of acne, but something that's cosmetically elegant for patients because oftentimes these acne uh, products cause actually uh, more redness and the patient gets worse before they get better in using these these products. And so what we found with our Permatrex formulation, it's a very safe and easy product to use. And because cannabidiol has been shown to be a safe product, um, patients can use this product without the, the unwanted side effects of using an acne product. For atopic dermatitis, this is really a a huge unmet need. So let's take the United States, for example. There's 18 to 24 million sufferers 
of atopic dermatitis. And it's mostly characterized as a disease of children. So most children who get the disease, the vast majority of them present before the age of two. So they go on topical therapies to, to actually control their disease. Well, when you're that young, the, the biggest concern is safety of the agents that are being used because frontline, it's the topical corticosteroids. And these products can't be used for a long time in children. So, so for, for us, if approved, um, our development program in atopic dermatitis brings the promise of potentially something that could be used long-term continual because of its safety profile. And just lastly, Vince, before we let you go, we know Botanix is a small Australian listed play, but with you joining the company, it really changes things up. What's next? Yes, so first off, I believe that we have something really unique and novel here. And we're delivering into markets where there's really, truly unmet needs. So the most important thing for us is to do the robust clinical work that we're doing today, follow the FDA guidelines and get these drugs really approved. The two lead assets, as I had mentioned, are our programs in acne and atopic dermatitis. So those studies are ongoing right now in phase two. And so the acne study should wrap up sometime towards the end of the third quarter here. And then the atopic dermatitis study should be completed sometime in the fourth quarter. You know, I, I really believe about a year ago, if you asked if most major pharmaceuticals companies in the US were talking about CBD or cannabidiol, I'd say the answer was probably no, they weren't. But as we turn the corner into 2019 with all the excitement that's in the US, I think we're on the radar now in the US. And I have built many dermatology companies in the past, and I'm com committed to building this one as well. Wonderful. Well, congratulations, Vince Upolito, on the fantastic results. Very exciting times. All right, thank you.